forget about it for this. Just between you and me.
No, no, no. There should be subsection 49. No, no. Mr. Chairman, if you don't no, mind, I don't seem to have a copy of the... Uh, we'll be hearing involuntary status. If it please, Your Honor, the incompetence we'll is more an issue here. My client is... The parents are here in what capacity? Mr. Chairman, as representative of the hospital, I'm happy to have Philip's parents acknowledged as parties to the proceeding as representative of the hospital. Yes, yes, of course, but I, I don't see how I can accommodate all of these parties. Having the parents here, yeah, you understand it's not always so. It's something we continue to do. Very well. Uh, doctor, proceed. Mr. Reynolds' illness began approximately one month ago when he refused to go to school and locked himself away in his room. This culminated with his setting fire to the family home and holding his mother at knife point. No knife. Mr. Reynolds. No knife. You will have an opportunity. It was a machete. Cheap it. Did you want to bring the house down? No. Okay. Then what... What were you trying to do? My music. I was getting rid of my music. Why were you doing that, Philip? Huh? I don't know. Well, what were you thinking about at the time? I'm not schizo. I'm not crazy. Well, some... I'm not fucking crazy. I know what I know. Okay. What do you know? I know I'm not schizophrenic. I know you have no right to lock me up in here. And I know you're just trying to drive me fucking crazy. You remember setting fire to your I house? I wasn't trying to set fire to the house! Okay, but my point being, you're lucky to be here rather than in jail. You think that's lucky? You think that's fucking lucky? Where is luck involved? They're doing this to me. You know that. They're doing this to me. We take a ride and talk of everything except of what's inside. Can't you see the words I want to hear? Just whisper in my ear. This girl, she needs love. That's all, that's all, that's all. Music, man. Music. You can be such a pussy sometimes, Philly. Okay, can we just take it from the top again? Oh, oh, you're the leader now, Montavani. Well, somebody needs to lead. Doesn't nobody need to. We just need to cooperate. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Someone has to decide what we're trying to play here. So, decide. I just fucking did. Look, I just think we should take in this shit seriously. That's all. Seriously. We're here to have fun, man. Fun. You ever hear the concept? Look, are we gonna play or what? 
South Park's on in half an hour. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I mean, you guys are fucking unbelievable. I don't believe this shit. Yeah, so hire a couple of banjos. Yeah, I just might do that. Come on, man. Let's get out of here. Leave Reynolds to his practice. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. And fuck you! Well, is you staying, man? He's got the wheels, man. Sorry. Come on, Allie. Let's go find a part. Look at you. Wasted on a little bit of Cincimilla. I don't fucking believe it. Yeah, fuck you too. Stay here with this dingleberry. School day tomorrow, Philip. You want to pack it in, please? What is that smell? What smell? That particular sweet, musty, lingering odor of something illicit. That's what smell. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Philip. How many times... When I said that you could use the basement, I specifically said no goddamn drug. It was just a joint. Oh, just a joint. Look, it wasn't mine. I, they brought it. I can't control what my friends do. You're fucking responsible. Uh, just, uh, never mind. Just, just go to bed, will you? But that's it for basement band practice. Don't sweat it. Probably not coming back anyway. so much pleasure when a student actually volunteers to read Shakespeare. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. Page 39, please, Philip. You will, of course, be Romeo. And, um, Jillian. You take Juliet. From the top of the page, please. What man art thou that thus bescreened in night so stumblest on my counsel?
My ears have yet not drunk a hundred words of thy tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither fair maid. fucking know. What? Don't fuck with me. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, man, what the fuck was with you in there? Well, you're fucking bad. Did you set me up? What the fuck are you talking you about? You know, man. No, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. Are you saying that I suggested to Hamilton that she pick you and Jillian? No way, man. That'd be like volunteering myself. No, luck of the draw, that's all. Man, did you go red or did you go red? Beat City. No, not about that. I'm very confused. Forget it. What the fuck is wrong with him? Hey man, what? What's up, what? Where are you going? Don't mind Rob, he's just being a shithead. He, he doesn't mean it. Who's that? That's fair. Her old man's a cop, didn't you know that? Shit, if only he knew what a weed freak she is. You're not skipping, are you? Christ, that's not like you. Me, that's a different story, but you... Man, what's putting your ass? I just can't handle it today, man. Don't sweat it. Hey, you want some company? First they came for the Jews, and I turned away. Then they came for the cripples, and I turned away. Then they came for the homosexuals, and I turned away. Then they came for the lunatics. I looked around, looked around, and I looked around. Does he talk to you, Annie? He never talks to me. I think he's preliterate. What the hell is he doing in there? Hey, Philip, you want to join us in here? He had a bad day at school. Oh, okay. But that doesn't mean he gets to watch TV while the rest of us eat. Allison, is that you? Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm sorry about the other night, Philip. I don't remember much about it. Look, what I mean is, can we just forget about it, Philip? Just between you and me? Look, I need to talk to you, Allison. I don't know. I, I gotta get things straight. I don't think so, Philip. <sighs> Who's putting you up to this? What? Is Rob there? isn't here. Don't be silly. What, is your father there? You're crazy, Philip. You know that? Why did you call me, Allison? I don't know. I uh, just did. That's all. Look, I need to see you. I don't think I can get out. 20 minutes? I can be there in 20 minutes. Not here, Philip. Where, then? Oh, God, Philip. Normas. I'll be at Normas in 20 minutes.
injection, then they just need to roll over face the wall. All right, thank you very much. Aha! Uh -huh. Jesus, Mom! Oh, well, at least you're eating. I was about to call the paramedics. Who would you do that for? Philip, your father has a friend over in the den. I'd like you to go in and say hello. What? Just do it, please, Philip. What? What for? Do it for me. Please? I don't see the point. Um, just go on in and say hello to Bill Wall. So, Philip, I hear you're a musician. I used to play for the high school band when I was your age. Trombone. <laughs> Jeez, what a great time we had. I also hear you're not going to school these days. Look, it's none of my business. I'm just trying to carry on a conversation. Anything you want to talk about? Who the fuck are you? Okay, okay. I didn't think it was a good idea to spring it on you. I'm a psychologist, Philip. I know your father from work. He thought maybe if we talked. They're very concerned, Philip. I don't believe you. Who the hell are you and what do you got going with the father? I just told you, Philip. They just asked me to drop over and... And what? And talk with you. They tell me you're spending an inordinate amount of time in your room. Inordinate? Well, it means not ordinary, unusual. I know what it means. I'm not stupid. Why would you think I was stupid? No one thinks you're stupid, Philip. Yes, you do. Stupid, retarded, uh, challenged, three bricks short of a load. Uh, Take it easy, Philip. Calm yourself. Man, nobody means you any harm. What about the brown envelope? Awesome. Can I talk to you now, please? No, not now, Philip. Okay, I'm in a hurry. I, I waited at Norma's. I didn't say I would come. I only said, like, I'd try. Well, how about now? I mean, we can go get a coffee or something. Philip, listen to me. We had a thing. And nothing happened. Besides, I was stoned, so it doesn't count. I, I know, I, I just, I don't understand. What's there to understand, Philip? No, Philip, you're a sweet guy, but there's nothing between us. Nothing. Okay, I can't talk to you anymore, okay? Ever again, like never, okay? Come on, Phil. You don't go back to school, they're gonna flunk you and kick you off the band. Those things just... It's just not big to me anymore. I got other things to deal with. What other things? Somebody dying? Somebody knocked up? What? Everything. Everything. Knocked up. That's it. Who'd you knock up? Jillian? No, I didn't knock up Jillian. I don't know. Shit, you think you knocked somebody up but you don't know who it is? I don't think I knocked anybody up. What's the problem? Maybe I did. I, I, she won't talk to me, though. Why not? I don't know, man. I don't know. Listen, life is like a marijuana plant. What? Stay with me here. Life is like a marijuana plant. You give it too much water, too much attention, it doesn't like it. Like if it wilts. And, and you stick it up, you tie it up with toothpicks when it's small. 
and it's smothered and it dies. If you give it too much water, the fucker drowns. If you don't give it enough water and light, it croaks too. You gotta give it just the right amount of attention. And then it grows, man. It thrives. Just like life. What does that mean? <laughs> Shit, man, I'm just saying life is like a marijuana plant. It's a metaphor. I know it's a metaphor, it just doesn't fucking mean anything. It doesn't have to mean anything, it's a metaphor. So how does that help me then? Fuck to find out. Can I take a shit around here without interference? You have an appointment today, Philip. I'm shitting in here. But this time, you're coming with us. Okay, but what do you want to do? Wait in here with me? Okay, as long as we agree. But when you're finished, I'm going to get your clothes and you're coming with us. Please, get out. What's going on, Philip? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> well, you haven't been going to school. You hardly ever leave your room. Are you depressed, Philip? <laughs> Come on, Philip, talk to me. Your parents are very concerned. I don't know, I just have no compelling reason to get out of bed. <laughs> uh -huh. 
What's, uh... Just means that you're probably depressed. And very understandable. School pressures, peer pressures, career decisions to make, new responsibilities, the end of childhood and all that, and, um, of course, sex. What have they told you? About what? About sex. Well, Philip, it's, it's natural to be confused about sex. What have they told you? <laughs> Philip, I'm the doctor here. You're the patient. I ask the questions. That's how it works. I ask you answer. Look, Philip, no matter what it is, you can always talk to us, right? Or just keep it between you and me, okay? Just between you and me. Sure. So, the doctor gave you some pills, eh? You want them? What did he tell you? Nothing. He must have said something. Oh, were you there? No. You know, Philip, when I was young, it, it was confusing, too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that doesn't cut it, does it? Philip, where are you going? Philip! is this? There's nothing missing in your life. We give you everything. What the hell's going on? You have no right to come in here. <laughs> no rights. Hey, this is my house. Don't talk to me about rights, pal. What is this? It's not safe to go to the bathroom. You're liable to be 
looking out there waiting with your CIA buddy. That's crazy. I told you it wasn't a good idea to invite that quack over here. You got a better idea? We had to do something. I warned you, John. Get out, get out, get out. You're driving me crazy. All right, you listen to me, young man. Either you're going back to school or you're going to work. That's it. And that door stays open and you're not spending nearly as much time in here. John, can't you see that something's wrong here? I know something's bloody wrong. You don't have to worry about me anymore. What are you talking about? You're going to violate my space? My room? I'm oh, leaving. Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? You just broke down a door in your own house and you, you got some takeover with that, with that shrink? I'm being ridiculous. Fella. Oh. Scum, you come around here again, bother Alley. I'm gonna cut it off. You hear me? I'll cut it off. What's up, Philip? I need a place to crash, man. Is it safe? The fuck do you mean is it safe? Nothing's fucking safe in this neighborhood. Yeah? Is it alright? Yeah, you staying? Have you talked to Robert? Yeah, not today. You can't trust him. He, he says stuff behind your back. He's not so bad. Okay. That's okay, you passed the test. What test, man? What, what the fuck? You defended him, right? That's okay. I mean, if, if you agreed with me right off the bat, then I'd know you were in on it. In on what, man? What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Can I stay here? Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. There's a couch in the basement. She's been sleeping there ever since the old man pissed off. Don't worry, she won't wake up. It's okay for the night. Jesus, man. What? Nothing. Don't worry about it. You don't mind me telling you you look like shit, man. Yeah, well, you know fucking Tom Cruise yourself. Yeah, there's some truth to that. Hey, you wanna do? I got a little left. What? Anything added to it? What the fuck am I gonna add to it? No? Suit yourself. Look, tomorrow you're on your own. You can tell the old lady. Look, I don't know where there's any more blankets. It's all right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay.
you're Wallace's friend. Are you lost too? Alone? Huh? What are you doing? I understand what it feels like. A nice young boy like you. You know what I need, Philip? Philip, I need you. Mom. No, I'm all right. Uh, at Wallace's. Uh, I don't understand what's happening. Why are they doing this to me? You know, Mom, please, come on. That's what I'm asking you, what's happening? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay. 
Okay, let's just take it from the beginning then. You're here, and you don't like being here. And something got you here. So if we could fix up what got you here, that would be good, right? If you could get me out, that would be good. How about out of this box for a start?
So, you ready to tell me what's been happening? As if you didn't know. Okay. Then who do you think is behind it? Behind what? The stuff you've been talking about. People ruining your reputation. Maybe it's happening, maybe it isn't. Well, you figured that they were, what, conspiring? You'd be paranoid too if it was happening to you. They treat me, man. I mean, like, is it all right? Jesus, who would have thought some of these people they seem all right? You know what I mean? I got a couple doobies in my pocket. You want them? They let you have matches in here. Hey, man, you take them. Well, I, uh... Jesus, shit, man, I mean... What is happening? I mean, what the fuck is happening? I don't know, man. Jesus, if this is about Allison, she's not worth it, man. She's not worth it. She just ain't worth it. Who's Bill Wall? Who? Bill Wall, he's in on this, huh? I don't know. The old man knows about it too. Yeah. They think I know. Can we light up in here? That's why they put me in here. They think I know. How about the bathroom, man? You need to chill. With side effects from the drugs. Legs still jumpy? What the fuck do you care? We'll try some other pills that won't do that to you. I don't need anything. Two goddamn pills making me sick. I'd be fine without them. Okay. should help Philip. If you take these pills, you'll be out of here in a few weeks, I promise. I know that's what you want. Church will protect you. You 
must escape the psycho terrors. Here, read this pamphlet before it's too late. I'm the patient advocate, Mr. Reynolds, and you've been found involuntary as well as incompetent to consent to treatment. You can appeal that decision, but I need you to fill out these forms. I can help you with those. It's not so bad, Philip. What? Being one of the crazies. This is my third time. You dance real good. Not when they give me too many pills. Can I ask something? Maybe. Can I ask how come you're here? You know, lots of artists are crazy. Van Gogh, Munch, Sylvia Plath, Virginia Woolf, Hemingway. I 
don't know any rock stars, though. Maybe, uh, Brian Wilson qualifies. Take those pills they give you, you won't be able to, um, you know. What? You know, do it. How, how do you know that? I read all about it. Where, in like drug books? On the internet, I and mean, they have these chat rooms for everything. But what I'm trying to say is it's okay. We can be good friends, Philip, can't we? I can't find Lexus this morning. Oh, could you hang on a minute? We're very busy here. So what's the problem? Lexus, I can't find her. I wouldn't think so. But she's not in a room. She was moved to G2 this morning, Philip. Why? Well, why do you think? Uh, well, I don't know. Why would I think? What? Look, she's about to be discharged. And we don't want to jeopardize that, do we? Let me tell you what I think, okay? I think you've been chicking your pills and hoarding them, and you dropped a couple into a certain cup of coffee, which was very dangerous. I don't care to shove down my throat, but they're dangerous for anybody else. I'm not schizo either. I'm fine now. I don't know what the... But you did feel confused, didn't you? Even paranoid? Maybe misinterpreting things a little, huh? I don't know what was happening before, but I'm fine now. Because you took some medication. Now, you've not been taking your pills for a few days, but you're still better because you took the medication earlier, okay? Now, just a minute. I think you need those pills to get well. Oh, you don't think so. But then you've not taken them for a few days. So, you decide. How about that? You decide. I'll stop prescribing them now. On one condition. That if you have those experiences again, you know, wound up, can't sleep, anxious, starting to get paranoid, you come to me and you talk about pills with me. Okay? Yeah, sure. And when you leave here, and not before, my friend, you might find Lexus at Markham's on Robinson. What? It's a boarding home. She lives there now. Hey, man, can you turn it off? 
Come on, man, for Christ's sake, just pull the plug on it. What? What the fuck? It's okay, I just want your radio off. What? Here, I'll do it. Don't touch my fucking radio. Turn the goddamn thing off. It's not on. The fuck, it's not. It's off. You satisfied? Where's Dr. Walt? She's on vacation. Can I get you something? They let you out, Philip? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of walked. You walked away. Are you gonna let me stay here or not? Of course. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just walked away. You, you? They didn't discharge you. I got things to take care of. What things? What the hell are you doing here, Philip? You're not gonna let me stay in my own house? Of course we are. No. I'm driving you back to the hospital. Sure, but you can stay for a minute, John. And then what? For something to eat, John. John, he's our son. All right, all right. Five minutes, and then I'm taking you back. What can I make you? Let's see. An omelet, uh, a hot dog, a bowl of soup, maybe? Are you trying to kill me up there? Is that what you're doing? How about toast and jam? Or peanut butter. You never could resist jam and peanut butter. Just feed him, all right? He has to go back. You talk about him like he's a, a, a stray dog. What is that supposed to mean? Let's just, not, let's just not think about this. You never want to face facts. That has always been your problem. I am facing facts, as you call it. I'm facing the fact that our son is here, and he looks terrible. I'm facing the fact that we had to put him in a mental hospital. Here. I'm facing the fact that we almost lost him. 
I'm facing the fact that they're giving drugs to him that are turning him into a zombie. I'm facing the fact that maybe we did something wrong. I'm facing the fact that our son got so upset that he ran away. He set a fire in his room. I'm facing the fact, God, I'm facing the fact that we could still lose him, John. I'm facing the fact that he's here now and he needs our help. He needs professional treatment. You just don't see it, do you? See what? Oh, John, John. Are you finished? Because I'm driving you back right now. What are you doing with this wall guy? Oh, you're talking nonsense. Nonsense? Nonsense! Is that, the, is that the best you could come up with? Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Okay, nonsense, okay that nonsense, is enough. Nonsense. Just get in the car right now. I'm taking you back to the hospital. You can come back when they discharge you. I'm not going back there. Oh, yes, you are. No, I am not. No, I am not. All right, all right. I, I, that's it, Philip. Come on. Let's, let's go. You're going to call the cops on me? No, I'm taking you back by myself. No! No! Maybe he could stay. Just one night. Just one night, maybe. No, no. Just so that we don't fight, John. Just one night. Well, then, we're, then we're just right back. We're right back where we were before. He has to go back to the hospital. He needs more treatment. Will you stay home, Philip? And take your pills. I'm not taking any pills. You can sleep in my room, Philip. I, enough! 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 Philip, if you don't come back with me right now, I'm gonna call the hospital and they're gonna. Me now! I'm not going back to that bloody fucking shit hole! You know my fucking parents anyway, just fucking imposters! Hey! A nice room, don't I, Phil? Is uh, the door locked? The food's nice too. It's really not so bad. Can I stay here tonight? In a chair or something? Who should I? Uh, they, they did something to my body. Maybe. Uh, Maybe electromagnetic is possible. But you're cold. I can't get warm. Come into my bed, Philip. It's all right. I'm not the same anymore. 
They've been replaced. My parents. Dude, I feel like it's gonna blow away. Like in a tornado? No. Like a breath of air, someone just pulling on you, alright? I mean, even with the earth spinning just left behind. I think they put a computer chip in my body. I was at the hospital, you know that? We were talking. They do that kind of thing, I read about it. They want something from me. What do they want, Phil? They want what I know, what I figured out. I haven't figured anything. That stuff. Aliens and morphing. I don't know. It sounds a little crazy. Go to Vancouver and live on the beach. California? Florida. Maybe Rome? We can live in one of those uh, pensiones. <laughs> you listen to music all the time. Phil, if you could play your music. Yeah, they don't take that away. Listen, 
You wait here. I'm gonna go get a jacket and tell them I'll be late. Okay. Hi, Alexis. Come and sit down. The young man that you had in your room last night. This is Philip. Hello, Philip. It's, it's all right, Alexis. You know, it's okay with me, but this is a boarding home, and Mrs. Markham's really ticked. Is that why she called you? Well, she wanted me to come and take you out, but I told her that I'd come down and give you a shit and make you promise not to do it again. This is bullshit. Philip, you're not helping her. Come on, Alexis, let's get out of here. Say goodnight to Philip, Alexis, and I'm sure Mrs. Markham will let you in. I'm not saying goodnight to Philip. Alexis. No. Lexus, come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Philip, you're not doing her any good. You're on it too, aren't you? You're all fucking in on Lexus. it. Lexus. Let's go. I know I, I know how to stop this. I know what's going on. I know what to do now, Lexus. I know what to do. Philip, wait. No, I know what to do now. Philip, you're scaring me, Philip. There it is. There it is. If we, if we cut the briars or, or break it or something like that, it'll stop. Come on. I, I'm afraid to fill it. You wait here then, okay? This is it. This is where they do it. Controlling everybody around me. Making them drive me crazy, making them torture me. This is the control.